Patrick Mahomes, Chiefs quarterback, getting a big payday this week. Yeah. $450 million contract for 10 years. It's probably going to be closer to $500 million with incentives, yeah. which is fucking insane. His money goes up as the team's salary cap goes up. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's a little bit crazy to publicize the deal of your you know, contract negotiation when half the country is, you know, blowing people for Postmates promo codes. But, I mean, I guess good for him. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Shouldn't it make us mad? Shouldn't it make us mad to see why? It seems like we're all celebrating this dude getting 400. He's He became halfway close to being a billionaire in a day. It, no, like we, no, 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 no. That's not true. Up. That's not true. That's not true. Um, it is. That's not true. That's not true. What, what are the... He made. He got a hundred. You're right. It's he got. Takes, in, it, it takes in ten years. He'll be yes, half a billion. In ten right. years, it'll He's only got, take to, ten years. You're not. Which it's is not basically all, how long it took me to become an adult after high school. You know? Yeah, dude. Like, it's not that long, buddy. I know. It's what I'm saying is he's he's a behemoth overnight, and we're celebrating. It's. Crazy. Do you have a problem with it? No, I mean, get that money, dude. If you're him, get yeah, he's fucking good. He's as close to a sure thing as you could get in like the NFL. Yeah. I guess I, I don't I don't understand. I don't understand these big deals because one, you're paying people on past performance, and two, like you can't control an injury. All it takes is some shithead stealer to come and, you know, swipe his ankles out and he's done for, you know, his career. Right. But that's so, why I mean, that I that's why only 140 million for our for our listeners that aren't football fans, um, Hundred forty million. One hundred forty million dollars guaranteed because NFL contracts can be cut. So yeah, so if that does happen, but I think in the grand scheme of things, yeah, you're right. It's a very volatile. It's a very vulnerable position, and you don't know, you know, if a guy's gonna get a you know career-ending neck injury or something like that. So keep this in mind, dude. This was a decision that the Kansas City Chiefs made to say we're gonna pay this guy half a billion dollars over the course of 10 years, knowing that that's a huge risk and knowing that there might be entire seasons where he doesn't even have to work. He doesn't have to go on the field because he might have sprained his that ankle. Valuable. That's what I'm saying. So part of me, and also another thing to consider, and this is the real part, because I'm on your side. I am I am concerned about this because another thing to consider is he was only offered this much money because they couldn't offer him more. Because of the salary yeah. cap and how much they can pay one player. That's the crazy That's thing. That's the crazy about. thing. If there were no salary cap, if you could just play if you could just offer any player you want any amount of money and you could have as large a payroll as you want, you could just do it, he would make even more money than this. A man that throws a football So to me, I guess when I hear this, and I'm a football fan, I like football, but there's part of me that's like, this just it's it's out of hand. It's out of hand. It's out of hand. It's out of hand. It's a kangaroo court right now. Yeah. It's 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 out of control, man. Like, it, it, I guess it's inflation, but not by that fucking much, dude. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's like I said, on the one hand, I'm like, get that money. But on the other hand, I'm like, how do you... It's weird from a publicity standpoint yeah. to, like, publicize that. Like, why... Isn't it weird that anytime someone gets a big, big deal like that, like, it's very quick that they make it public? It's like I. It's like the team proud that they doled that much out. Is Kansas City trying to flex on the rest of the league, being like, "Hey, we just dropped half a bill in ten years on you know a pretty proven quarterback." Are they are they swinging their dicks, or is it more so? Does it just get people stoked? I mean, I I, I said, dude, people eat that shit up. I believe that people love like half of this country, you know, struggles like more. Than right. That. Everybody's struggling. Everybody's struggling right now. But still, when I first read it, I was like, oh, shit. Like, I was happy. I was excited when I read okay. it. Okay. Why? And that's a weird... I don't know. Cause you're happy I You're happy for Pat Mahomes? $500 billion. I I was happy for it. Okay. And then I imagined how much fun he's going to have running all those Papa John's franchises. Yeah. And being in the ads for yeah. them as they start their new, you know, slices in all colors initiative that they have to do as you know damage control for papa right i i just started going through all these scenarios that were great and i it made me happy but then i i don't know it's like why the fuck am i ha why am i celebrating someone else isn't that the whole problem isn't that the whole problem that we were like enabling this system yeah that's then, that's on the other hand i don't want to be some fucking douchebag in college and i'm like shut i like football who gives a fuck dude yeah, so no, I I agree with you. I I uh, yeah, I'm I'm on your side. I don't and I don't. I'm I'm at the point now where I'm like, 
maybe I should just invest in like, maybe I should just start watching the WNBA because they're actually paid reasonable amounts of money. Because there's a part of me that's like, am I, because it, it's definitely lopsided. It's definitely like very lopsided. And to be honest, it's wrong. It's wrong. It, you shouldn't make that much money as any sort of entertainer. So I guess... Cause here, okay, it's it's morally wrong. It's more. I feel like yeah. it might be moral. It's, well, it's, how would you make the sin. argument that it's morally wrong? <laughs> it is. I think it is sin. It's glove. Well, it is. You know? That is that is what it is. Well, it's it's bizarre. Okay, because here's is it is is the sin taking the money knowing as a functioning human being that that money could be used to improve the lives of so many other people. Yeah. Is that the sin? Is that you will you willfully overlook that? Or is, you know, but then, but then he's putting money into a foundation. Probably. Yeah, probably. What if he didn't? Dude, what if he didn't? What if he just, yeah. <laughs> I want to, I want to know the first spent, NFL player who what says, if he, fuck that. He, and they're like, I'm not starting a foundation. Fuck that. That's my money. Right. That's my money. I want to see that. What if he, what if he lived paycheck to paycheck? Like somebody in the WNBA or like. No, 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 no. I'm saying with or, his $500 million contract. He bawled out that he was like, oh, man, I need to, I, I got to wait till payday, man. I got to go get a payday loan to buy some Arby's because I literally spent $30 million this week. <laughs> I had to get this neon green McLaren, so now uh, we're getting Chipotle for the rest no, of the No, dude, week. you'd be like, I had to get three neon green McLarens and explode them. <laughs> oh, and I blew them up on the interstate from a helicopter that I was piloting. <laughs> and I wasn't you know? even there to watch it. I just wanted I to know that it. it happened because I made it happen. That's he the level of the wealth. of destroying his own property. So, can you imagine being so rich that the only point you can come is when you destroy your own property? Yeah. Like... <laughs> You just, that's all you got. That's all you can do now. You have so much that watching it burn. Yeah. The freedom of watching it burn and knowing it won't affect you. Yeah. It's like the only way you can get your rocks off. Yeah, man. That's the life I'm trying that's to live. That's the ultimate. Dude. That's, Quads. yeah. That's the <laughs> ultimate. Like, guy goes, you know, Floyd Mayweather goes to a strip club. He falls out. That's like trickle down economics in a weird way. Um, which weird, I don't think is good. Way. I think trickle down. Uh, he's going to he's gonna help the lives of like 10 to 15. Yeah, but he's, you know, night, you know, some kids are getting fed. I would hope some kids are getting fed because. Kids, dude, they're getting more than fed if Floyd Mayweather's coming. They're getting fed. They're getting Yeezys. Yeah. They're getting, you know, private school. Yeah. They're getting. Good for them. It's good for them. 